Hi, this is Phil Hinton and welcome to another video here on avforums.tv. In this episode, we've been invited along to CDA UK's headquarters here in St. Nudes and we're here to do the Home Cinema Design course. So, what is the Home Cinema Design course and what's it all about? The Home Cinema Design course is really our opportunity to introduce engineering and technical design to something that I think people trivialise too much by just throwing product at a solution in that CDA, in conjunction with the Consumer Electronics Association, we've been working on a set of recommended practices, of which the first one to be finished is the audio one, and we're just finishing the video one. Once those two are combined, what you have there is, is a normative reference, is an absolute reference of industry standards that you can apply to the design of a home cinema. So rather than just looking a room and going, well, I'll put some speakers over there and these amps will be fine, you look, approach it from an engineering perspective do the right calculations and what you get out of the other end of that is a very very high amount of predictability so that you can be very very consistent across your designs to make sure that you get a consistently really really good result. And of course we're talking about the word objective here because all this is objective yeah. standards. They are completely, the way the standards were written it wasn't just one person's opinion, it's not written by a company that has anything to sell. The standards were completely open to anyone on the planet who was either a CEA member or a CDA member. Um, this was done by mostly telephone conference calls with a few face-to-faces, and they thrashed out all the issues and, and came to a lot of conclusions. And what we've done with a lot of the standards is not rewritten the wheel, not redesigned the wheel rather, but have where there is an existing standard, that has been incorporated. And so the recommended practices is just encapsulating all the bodies of knowledge that are out there and bringing them together into one place. I think that the, this particular course could appeal to anyone who has an interest in designing reference level cinemas. So for a CEDIA member it's obviously very very important because um, what we want to do is promote CEDIA as a brand of excellence. Go to a CEDIA member, they're going to do a great job for you. But on the other end of the spectrum, there's no reason why a hobbyist, a consumer, someone who's passionate about this stuff, someone who understands the basics, this isn't a basics course, this is really synthesising existing knowledge with all the knowledge that's in the recommended practices um, in, a, in a design scenario. So we're now three quarters of the way through the course and this afternoon is going to be spent purely with some blank drawings um, actually putting those designs together. So it's not just about the theory. It's looking at the drawings and saying, right, within this room, what are we going to do? How are we going to lay things out? How are we going to position it? And then actually do the engineering and the maths to, to back those decisions up. The Home Cinema Design Specialist course um, is designed to help CDI installers learn how to design uh, home cinemas using objective design principles and try and remove as much subjective finger in the air guesswork as we possibly can from the process. On the course, we try and teach the guys the fundamentals of both video and audio. For video, we look at specifying the correct screen size, the correct seating distances, the correct projector brightness, and a few other topics uh, besides, including some calibration stuff. For audio, we try and look at specifying the correct speakers, the speaker loudness that would need to be achieved, which amplifiers would be used to do that, and also the speaker locations. We also have some time to look at some small topics about room acoustics. The goal of the Home Cinema Design Workshop is to ensure that everyone who attends can come away with a good understanding of how the recommended practice documents can assist them in designing a home cinema. We're going to talk about video and audio. We can't cover every subject, of course, under those two topics, but we have the fundamentals right and everyone will have had a chance to practice those and apply them to an actual design itself. Uh, I've learnt uh, lots of uh, aspects to do with uh, placement of uh, speakers, um, what screen sizes uh, for seating positions, all sorts of formal uh, uh, parts of the home cinema layout. Um, but I think the other thing I've learnt from this, picking up from the lecturers' comments and also input from all the other candidates, I've learnt a lot about um, the um, some of the sort of anecdotes and the um, uh, experience other people have had uh, learning about um, other aspects that are very useful, even sort of down to sort of recommendations of particular types of equipment or methods and, and aspects like that. I think it would help most people that are involved in home cinema design. I think that there's 
you know, on the course, I probably have the least knowledge in terms of, you know, any real hands-on experience. But I can still, without hopefully being too much of a pain to everyone else, I can still get by with a general knowledge and then sort of take, you know, ask questions if I really don't understand, but then go away and, or maybe in the breakout sessions, just ask more detailed questions about specifics that are probably more general. But I think it, it will, anyone that's going to be doing home cinema... Uh, it's sort of the next step from to doing the base, knowing what basic installation of speakers and c basic calibration. It really is a, a a big step, and then obviously there's reference material that you can take away and, and get through. Well, to me, um, having sat through it thus far, I'm convinced that it's suitable for, even for a person who wants to do their own project for themselves at home. They can get a lot of good ideas as to what to do and why to do it that way, and what not to do and why not to do it that way. So even uh, for the cost of it you can have a you improve great improvement to your own individual thing much less for somebody else for a fee um it was the occasion to recheck that i have good m memory of uh, basic equation for some some calculations that i knew but you tend to forget because you're not using them every day so uh, i think continuous education is definitely uh, an attitude you have to to follow I really wanted a, a sort of wider understanding of the principles behind some home cinema. I've obviously been doing it myself for many years. And you think you know a lot, but until you really get down and go on these courses and really get a good feeling of the fundamentals that underpin the designs, you don't really know where you're going from, because a lot of it's trial and error when you're doing it yourself and hearsay. But to actually get this fundamental set of uh, you know, objective bases you can start with, I think it's proving really, really, really useful. And of course the the word there was objective. Everything that we've been taught has been uh, along lines of recommendations and standards that are laid down. Yeah, the recommended practice and the objective standards, I think I think that's really where it's differed for me. You know, there's not been a massive amount I've learned that's brand spanking new revolutionary, but to actually have a set of parameters to aim at, you know, to a set of standards to work from makes it much more ob objective than a subjective exercise in just placing speakers and trying to marry up bits of kit. And uh, what do you think people will get coming onto the, a course like this, whether they're in the profession or just interested in building their own home cinema? What do you think it is they're going to get from that? I think there's, there's two ways. Professionally, you know, undoubtedly, if you're doing this sort of thing on a professional basis, this is these courses would be absolutely essential. I just can't see people going out and doing a, jo a job any other way to be honest. Um, from a home cinema perspective as we've discussed earlier I'm in the process of building uh, a new home cinema at home and this whole course has been invaluable in that project. Absolutely invaluable. Changed my plans five times since I've been here in two days. So, uh, Before you came on this course what were your views of CDR as an organisation and, and what do you think of the way that the training is now moving on? I mean obviously they're inviting people like us from the press mm. to come in and have a look and see what they're doing. So what kind of things have you got before, from it? Before, you know, I've known Cedia for, for many years, know a lot of the people. I never really understood what's going on because, I'll be honest, I never really understood the whole custom install thing. So before I found it was very much, you know, an, a professional organisation that didn't have a, if you like, a consumer-facing side to it at all. It was just high-end, it was professionals. I think this whole move where likes of us and the press are here and it's much more open to individuals who wish to come on this course, I think it's actually a, it's a real step in the right direction, not just for CD themselves, but promotion of home cinema and multi-room to, to the masses, really. The Home Cinema Design Workshop course is open to anyone who's interested in home cinema and would like to learn how to design a reference cinema, whether for themselves, for others, whether a professional or just an interested amateur. Everyone's welcome and everyone can take something from the Home Cinema Design Workshop.